Hi, Mark from Top Local Lead Generation. We're here with Dr. Nicholas Jensen of Divine Elements Naturopathic Clinic in Vancouver. We're talking about weight loss today. How are you doing today, Dr. Nicholas? Doing great, Mark. Thanks for having me. How are you doing? I'm good. So good. we're going to talk about something that a lot of people need to do, mm -hmm. uh, including myself. A little bit of weight loss would probably <laughs> help everybody. But uh, what, what kind of information can you share with us today about that? Yeah, well, I mean, doing a quick search uh, on Google looking for some of the, uh, the factors that are contributing to weight loss, um, it's very obvious that, that our diets play a huge, huge role in this. And some of the statistics that are, that are emerging um, over the years is that there's just this constant progression and increase in uh, the numbers of people who are dealing and suffering from obesity. So some of the, the numbers I looked at showed uh, the U.S. population to be around 60% or greater uh, of the population uh, in the state of obesity. And Canadians, a little bit healthier in that 40 to 60 range. And looking at graphs between the countries, you can actually see that U.S. is the top, and then it's uh, Mexico, and then fourth on the list is actually Canada. These are, you know, industrialized nations that should be top of healthcare, and these are the results that, we're, that we've got. So... Um, now, obesity isn't a problem in and of itself, and what does it really mean? Looking at a, a body mass index scale, which is a height to weight ratio, that's anything greater than 30. Um, so uh, this is, and, and then the extreme case or extreme obesity is anything greater than 40. So there's quite a few people in the population, definitely even in our popula patient population, that are well above this 30 range. Um, so, again, obesity in and of itself isn't necessarily the issue. The, the causative factors that are, are making it happen are part of the problem, which is diet, exercise for the most part. Toxicity also plays another huge role. Um, but the, it's the, the events that are showing up because of the obesity, so the increase in triglycerides and, and some of the bad cholesterols um, that are clogging up our arteries are, are, are contributing to diseases like cardiovascular disease, stroke, thromboembolism, diabetes. Um, making us more uh, prone to autoimmune disorders. Uh, basically, most of the age-related illnesses are going to be worsened uh, by in, in people who are obese. And this is staggering, especially because it's starting to show up in, in our children. So really, it's, um, it's not just about you know, looking good, and, and definitely that's the, the, the media... Um, um, experience that we're all getting is to look fit and look thin. It's it's really about uh, preventing illness as we get older, and this is a major priority for many people, especially when these disease processes are showing up down the road. So so here in our clinic, we focus on a specific program uh, where we're seeing some fantastic results with patients, which is a, a food based or nutrition based program involving some supplementation. Um, some some staggered visits uh, throughout a month period, and um, B, we call them B12 metabolic boosters. So through this program, people are losing on average of 15 to 20 pounds per month, which is fantastic. Um, one of my latest patients that have gone through a three-month program with us, um, she's in her early 40s. Um, she went through three months, and she in the first month alone, she lost uh, 15 pounds. Um, now. Interesting to note was that, that about 10 or 12 of those pounds were in fat and she actually gained some, some muscle. And after the three-month period, she went to, it's more like a Mediterranean-style diet. We call it in naturopathic medicine an anti-inflammatory diet, which we've talked about before. Um, and she's actually maintaining uh, the weight and she's still improving her muscle mass despite not being on this program. So really what it's do, doing is changing... Uh, an individual's metabolic profile. So looking at the bigger picture, what does that mean? That means you're going to have more energy, you're going to feel better in your skin, you're going to feel more confident, you're going to be more likely to put the right foods and the right kind of exercise into your body, and you're going to make better decisions. Um, and in doing so, you're going to feel a lot better about the process you went through because you're sustaining this metabolic profile after going through the, uh, the, the series of treatment. So what sort of weight loss did she get after the three months? Was it did she maintain the fifteen pounds or get? She, she maintained. Yeah, she maintained the fifteen pounds. Uh, she got up to it was actually twenty pounds uh, total after the three months. 
Um, and a lot of what was going on was this uh, shifting in uh, her muscle mass and continually decreasing her uh, fat mass. So uh, one of the tools that we use in the clinic to assess is, is called bioimpedance analysis, which is measuring the differences between uh, lean muscle and fat mass. So for the, the average Joe out there who's doing a weight loss program or whatever on their own and they're just jumping on the scale, they're seeing such a fraction of, of that really important information. So this tool helps us to uh, more accurately assess uh, the, the transition and physiology, so the cellular makeup that's actually happening in the body. And along with that, we're also measuring uh, waist to hip uh, ratios, um, which I believe she lost about four inches on her waist um, and three or two, two inches on her hip. Um, which is pretty significant. So, I mean, for any woman, especially you know, wanting to fit into smaller jeans and, and, and you know, smaller clothes or put back on the clothes that they, they've had to store away in their closet, you know, 10, 15 years ago, um, it's a pretty big victory to be able to, you know, open that box again and say, wow, I can, you know, I can use these again. This is great. And they're back in style. <laughs> and they're back in style, yeah. <laughs> it's a great thing about this kind of 15-year plan. Things, things do come back in style. So muscle weighs quite a bit more than fat, isn't that right? That's uh, absolutely, and it's it's funny because uh, many people when they're when they're starting on a program, I, they're they're jumping on that scale every day, and it can be I, it's self sabotaging because we're we're purely looking at this one parameter for um, uh, for weight loss or improving metabolism. Uh, so yes, definitely muscle does weigh more than fat, and and. Without that objective assessment, looking at that the ratio, can you really get a clear understanding of how your physiology is changing? But most people, whenever they're doing a detox or they're doing a weight loss program, they can't help to but to jump on the scale and see how things are going. And then, for the most part, I encourage people just you know don't don't bother looking at it for the first month at least, uh, until we see you, uh, until we see you again, and then we can reassess in the clinic. And I guess the other thing I've learned over the years is more muscle means you burn more calories, so mm -hmm. it becomes a positive cycle. Is that right? That's absolutely correct. Yeah, and there's there's something on the test which we don't need to really talk about, but it's it's basically measuring your your body's uh, metabolic weight, and uh, it's called your body cell mass. So if you were to take your weight and subtract all the fat, and then what you're left with is is what's burning uh, or what's creating metabolism and, and another part of fat-free mass which isn't doing a whole lot. And so when you increase this component called your body cell mass, you're drastically driving the, the, the increase in metabolism and then that uh, relays over to the to lean muscle and then the lean muscle feeds the cycle and that's what helps to support the, your basal metabolic rate. And you burn more fat. And you burn more fat, yeah, exactly. So if you're looking for a well-researched and proven solution, then give Divine Elements a call for more details. They've got a free 15-minute health strategy to help you get going, and you can reach them at divineelements.ca or give them a call, 604-568-3735. Thanks, Dr. Nicholas. Thanks so much, Mark. Have a great day. Bye.